नमस्कार आई एम मेहुल अगेन फ्रॉम फिल्टर कंसर्ट वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू एपिसोड एज वी अग्रीड अपॉन दैट वी वुड बी टेकिंग दिस जर्नी ऑन वेरियस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ फिल्ट्रेशन एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर थ्री मेजर क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फिल्ट्रेशन वेर वी विल टॉक अबाउट लिक्विड फिल्ट्रेशन एयर फिल्ट्रेशन एंड गैस फिल्ट्रेशन so let's start with liquid filtration first in this topic we would be focusing only on liquid filtration a removal of suspended particles from liquid from any liquid we'll understand what are parameters need to be considered while working a right solution for liquid filtration so there are certain basic parameters which one should always consider while selecting the filters and here i'll explain you what are that uh, you know uh, what are their the steps we need to follow what are their uh, you know basic importance of those steps while designing the adequate filtration system so uh, first is what material we are going to handle second flow rate third viscosity of that fluid which we are going to handle specific gravity working temperature working pressure suspended solid load available micron rating and its efficiency and the nature of contaminants and lastly the bulk density of that suspended solid or contaminants available now how this 10 different parameters are contributing in terms of selecting a right filtration product for you so let's start with material to be filtered so material to be filtered would identify what sort of uh, you know uh, body material you should use what should be your filter media or filter consumable material what should be your uh, you know gasket material to be used so material to be filtered would identify these three basic parameters and that is directly related with the chemical compatibility of that material say for example you are dealing with certain acids so acids are compatible with certain material certain metals in some cases it required different type of material or a different type of coating lining or uh, you know a, a special treatment on the surface of that metal to make the external body for that filtration system so this is how it's really important that one should understand what material or what fluid is to be handled and that's how the, the it, it contributes a uh, a base through which your journey of designing the adequate system starts with we have certain uh, recommendation for what sh what should be the uh, filter housing material filter element material filter uh, you know media uh, to be selected or the gasket material we have our chemical compatibility chart for various fluids available for the uh, for the liquid filtration one can refer them on our website that is www.filter-concept.com that gives you a whole idea for what sort of liquid what material to be used so that is one area if your selection of body material is not adequate probably 
you can't expect your desired life through that filtration system. So it's really important to analyze the liquid characteristics while selecting your filter material. The next we talk about flow rate. So normally if you see the, the majority of filter media, now filter media could be in form of filter cartridge or it could be in the form of filter bag or in any shape and size. The flow rate is designed based on the water. So they are designed considering water as a base material. So in general if you see uh, you know uh, industry has that understanding that if you are using a, a filter cartridge of say 10 inch it has got flow rate capacity of 1 meter cube per hour or 1000 liter per hour. But one need to really understand on what ground this has been designed. We will discuss on this topic in detail that how flow rate selections are done. For that probably we will have to understand the filter cartridge, filter bag, different filter media available and in what shape and size you can use them. So we will we'll, uh, keep it for our next discussion. But here my objective to identify that flow rate is very critical component while designing the filtration system. And based on the flow rate you can identify the overall size of your equipment or filtration system. Flow rate can be measured in various unit. It could be measured in liters per hour, liters per minute, liters per second or in meter cube per hour or meter cube per minute or meter cube per second. These are the standard terminology used to uh, demonstrate flow rate of any liquid <coughs> or any uh, flow rate of uh, filtration product. Next is viscosity. It is seen that uh, people are not uh, taking much uh, you know focused on these parameters particularly viscosity because different fluid has a different viscosity at different temperature and if you are using a highly viscous material at normal temperature and you are considering data of your uh, you know uh, filter which is derived based on the water application probably your filter might not deliver desired flow rate. So this is how viscosity is important factor. As I said flow rate is normally derived on water as a base material. So depending upon that there is a correction factor to it when your viscosity of fluid is increased. So if you are dealing with oil say edible oil it would be slightly viscous different uh, you know uh, lubricants has a higher viscosity compared to oil. Let us talk about honey. Honey is much viscous than other fluid, ghee for that matter when it is at room temperature. So different fluid has a different viscosity and different viscosity would contribute differently to the desired flow rate. So that is how viscosity is critical. You cannot expect that you are you are uh, your filter design for uh, 1 meter cube per hour for water would deliver you 1 meter cube per hour with honey. No, you will have to add your correction factor 
while selecting the filter media for honey filtration and at that too at relevant temperature at what temperature process is going to be uh, you know conducted. So uh, I think we have tried to cover three major parameter uh, material to be handled flow rate and viscosity in this episode. Uh, we have more to discuss on this subject and uh, we'll try to cover the balance parameters in our coming episode. Meantime, if you have any further input on our presentation, on our this approach, you can feel free to contact us, you can write to us for any of your recommendations, suggestion which can help us to improve upon and deliver a right solution to you. Thank you so much.